Oh boy. What is up, guys? Welcome to another Intel Mod Monday. I am joined by, well, who am I joined by? Uh, Eric Wright, AKA Problem. Okay, so this is Problem. We are here today uh, building a PC, but before we get into that, I think we need to set the landscape. Let's, let's talk about the PC you currently have, and then we'll get into the PC that you are going to have. Like the long tail okay. of joy that is about to happen over the next three and a half hours, that we're going to cure your problem. Mm -hmm. But people don't know, wow, that worked. Hey, problem, problem. <laughs> there okay, it is. so you're gonna cure your, we're not gonna cure your problem because your, your problem's good, because your problem, okay. I, <laughs> I've, I've completely confused myself, but to, let's, let's talk a little bit. Of, what is the PC that you have currently? Um, where do I start? I'm, I'm like a PC noob, I guess okay, you could say. Okay. So what, what, how do I start in, in explaining my PC? My okay, so one? do you know what kind of processor you have? No. Um, yeah, I do actually. Uh, okay. Intel. Okay. The first did it's a nine, I think. Okay. No, 8700. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, 8700. So 8, yeah, okay, 8700. Okay. So that sounds about right. Okay, okay. So we've got a pro eight, eight series Intel. That's probably what seventh gen. Okay. So we're going to 10th, which is awesome. What about your GPU? Do you know that? 1080. Okay. Okay. So is that, that's still yeah, that's, yeah, I think that's yeah, right yeah, 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 right. yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're this is going to be a pretty substantial upgrade. So you've, you've completely skipped second gen uh, or first gen RTX. You've, you're going to uh, basically so you're going to a 3000 series. Guys, this is going to be an upgrade. I want to give a first and foremost a welcome to everybody from all of the different channels that are joining us now. We've got Intel Gaming hanging out, uh, Roby Tech YouTube, Roby Tech Twitch, your Twitch yep. um, as well. If you are, let's 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 do a nice little thing. If you are from Problem Rights Twitch, let's get a raise of hands. You know how to do that little raise of hands there. Yeah. Everybody say hi to Problem. Let's see if we can get that a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, this is live. People are saying, is this? Yeah, no, no. it's live. This yep. is live. We can read directly from you guys right now. We, we actually see all the chats, and we're seeing some hand raises. Yeah, there we go. We got a couple of hand raises right there. Do you recognize any of these guys? Yeah, yeah, I recognize a few of the names in there. And uh, they, they told me they're excited to see me build today. Um, they're, they're not too confident in me, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you have I nothing to worry about, man. Yeah. You'll, you'll be able to get it done. Now, we have done this. For those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Jesse Roby. I'm the host. I'm Roby Tech. I host a, a week, well, three-time weekly PC build show. We build a ton of PCs. Don't worry. We're going to watch Eric do most of the building today. That's the way we <laughs> like to do it. Because the big thing that we're trying to do is show people how easy it is for you to build your own PC. I know the big thing is, is that most of us can't get PC parts right now. But every once in a while, sometimes we get lucky. And you, you are getting a monster PC today. Um, but uh, for those of you who don't know, because we have like, what, about 700, 700, 800 people chilling right now. Where, what, is, what should people know about you? Because not a lot of people may not know you who are watching right now. Um, my husband, my okay. beautiful wife, Belinda. She's in the chat right now. Okay. Which is dope. Um, and I have two two kids, a three year old and a five month. Okay. So EJ and Luca, they'll see this down the road hopefully. And, okay. Uh, they'll, they'll be using this PC when I hand it down to them. There Eventually, you, you, you know, go. when we get to the, the the newer stuff. So this is gonna be the this is gonna be the problem, right? Like this is gonna be your legacy. Long time, like the Roby Tech legacy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. For, for generations to come, they're gonna be so mad at you. It's like, why do I still have to use this PC? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, what about your professional career? Because some people may not know a lot about that. Mm -hmm. So what do you do professionally? Because I mean, you didn't just get picked up off the street. Like you you do a thing. Yeah, so uh, started a professional Madden player. Okay. So the football video game. Okay. Um, and professional streamer now. So uh, I still do both. And uh, balancing both is, is, is the is the everyday job yeah just like writing that line right yeah, there in exactly. the middle okay and then you have been the like up until recently you've really kind of been a console player but now you've started mm -hmm. to take a dip into the pc world right yeah so i've started to play pc games over the last couple of years um it was strictly sports games on console for right. a while and uh now i'm doing um a lot of like battle royale and okay. Warzone's like my favorite game to okay. play outside of sports games. And so. what what is what is your performance like right now in Warzone? As far as what? When you play right now with your current rig setup. Oh, it's terrible. So I'm I, I run just the current rig and it kills my my uh, CPU, GPU, all that. And um, this, just this looks terrible. like it's gonna. This looks like it's gonna solve my, my problems. It. Okay, so we're gonna take probably like we're thinking like a 1080 with an eighth with a seventh or seventh gen. You're probably getting you're probably running what medium to low settings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're probably getting sub 30 frames per second sometimes. 
No, the the okay. frames. I'm probably getting like seventy to. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Seventy to eighty on average. Yeah. I feel like. That's okay. Right yeah, that tells me a little bit about in terms of where your settings are. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So this one you'll be able to run pretty much all max, right? If you want to. Not, sometimes it's not always the best way to play, but if you want to run all max, easily hundred plus, e even could get two or three hundred frames, oh, wow. uh, depending on where you set where, where you set your settings. So this should do. This should up his overall game. Uh, yeah. Quite a bit. <laughs> um, you also play like it sounds like you play some Hearthstone as well. Like you have some other PC games you've been playing as well. Yeah, like Hearthstone for sure. Um, and then, yeah, I'm really open to play any any PC games okay. now. Um, now that I'm using my PC a lot. Okay. Well, guys. I think the time has come. I know you guys are probably really excited to talk about the parts that are in here. Let's go ahead. We're going to go and bring up a graphic here in just a second. We're going to walk through the parts that we're putting in his piece. But looking at that thing, what do you think? You're probably like, that's um, just a lot of words. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of letters and numbers. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't want to be disrespectful to the tech, to tech guys, but uh, I, I did a little research and okay. it looks like it's an absolute behemoth. Yes, it yeah. is a behemoth. I think yeah. that is a, I think that is a great way to say all those letters and numbers. If we put them all together, that would spell behemoth yeah. in some way, uh, exactly. shape, or form. Uh, and then finally, we got to do some aesthetic choices today as well. You're using some ice blue Asia horse cables. So we're gonna. Wh why the ice blue? I mean, that was a big thing for you. I think like I think blue might be my favorite color. Oh, yeah. dude, right on. I think that's what it my is. My favorite yep. color too. Okay, so we got some blue. Um, now. Uh, Super Bowl. I mean, being a Madden guy, that just happened. On top of pretty much giving us the greatest memes coming out of the Super Bowl halftime show, what about the actual game? I was, I was in it for the memes, but you actually enjoyed the game, I'm assuming. So tell me yeah. a little bit about your thoughts with the Super Bowl yesterday. I mean, I expected more from um, this quarterback that they, they want to crown as the best ever, and he's going to be the, this great thing, and he's going to surpass Brady one day. I expect him to score a touchdown. <laughs> I don't care, you know, who's blocking and who's receiving and who's dropping balls. He should score a touchdown. The fact that he couldn't, that's sad. Okay. okay. That's sad. Brady then, the GOAT. Okay. Brady GOAT. Okay. Yep. And on. Uh, so there we go. People are like on the GOAT. I, I, was, I was expecting this a little bit. We start talking this from here, right? Like people were going from there. It's like for the most part, did you guys watch a lot of, uh, did you guys watch, uh, you know, you out in the, in the audience, did you guys watch Super Bowl? <clears throat> what was your favorite moment? I know a lot of people really enjoyed the meme in general yeah. uh, from the halftime show. <laughs> uh, if, I mean, honestly, that made the halftime show goat just to give us that because that's got what probably more views than the actual Super Bowl <laughs> itself at this point in time. Um, but what did you guys think? I mean, were, were you uh, were you happy with the results? Were you sad with the results or whatever it was? We're gonna get into building here pretty quick. But last question is before we get into that is tell me what it's like to be a Madden pro. Because as we go into this, like we're, they're going to figure out what it's like to be a PC building pro when you're going to be able to go pro for Luminosity or whomever afterwards mm -hmm. as a pro PC builder. Welcome. I'm glad I gave you a new career, by the way. Oh, there it is. Um, but uh, what is it like being a Madden pro? What's that, what's that like? And you know, a lot of people don't get to experience stuff like that. Um, just being a pro gamer, it's, it's been fun. It's the, the fact that you know, it went from just competing to now streaming and YouTube and all that. So. Um, I've enjoyed the run and got to go a lot of places because of it and earned some money over the years, so I've had a good time doing it. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, do we? Some, some people are asking, are there any big Madden players in the chat? I'm assuming pro quite a few big Madden players in your chat in general. Yeah. Um, what are some of the other games that people, people wanted to tune in your Twitch that they might see you play? Uh, I play a lot of Warzone. Like okay. I was saying, uh, Warzone's pretty popular for me. Um, but I'm, I'm doing a lot of different games now. We just got through playing Hitman 3 okay. uh, not too long ago. Um, this game that we've been messing around with is called Project Winter. Okay. If you're familiar, but it's kind of like Among Us, a yep. little bit more strategical. Um, and then I do uh, sports talk. I do like a little, I guess it's kind of like a podcast. Okay. I'm a host of an e-dating show. Are you familiar? An e-dating? What is that? Um, bring on a panel of guys. They try to win an e-date with <laughs> a lady. No, I did not. <laughs> I might just wait. Is that, that's on your yeah, website? When, yeah. when, when, when can I tune into that? Um, it's supposed to be every other Saturday. We're, okay. we're sh we should have one this Saturday. It's called the right one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Three. Yeah. A lot of that the people right there. Like, yeah. There we go. So we, there you go. That right now, like yeah. you got a lot of people interested in that right there. Um, uh, I am going from there. Okay. So uh, let us start with the PC build. I miss. I must have missed something because people are like saying like in general. But um, <laughs> here we go. Let's start with. Oh, right over here. Um, we're gonna grab your motherboard. This is kind of where we start at the beginning at the beginning, and we like to do a little tour. And uh, who here in the chat, I'm just curious, who here in the chat, this is your first time ever building a PC? 
So this is a motherboard. We're going to walk you through all that sort of stuff. But who is a motherboard um, from this? Like, it, it, I mean, who is new to PC building, has never done this before? Because this is where we're going to start. We're just going to give you a little bit of an education. Uh, OK, well, there we go. Don't even know what a PC is. So that's <laughs> it, that we're, we're going to get some go from there. So we're going to start from here and go to the beginning. Um, so we're going to go and open this up. And I'm going <laughs> to walk you through kind of a what is in here. And so this is called a motherboard. Um, which you, I know you've seen before, because you actually have a custom PC that was built. I'm going to grab the stuff in here that we actually need. Yeah, this this looks expensive. It it is, and it's got you know it's the carbon. Um, I think this is oh no, this is the gaming edge. Okay, so this is a this is a gaming edge actually. So that's okay. Um, so we're going to be using this for your build in general. Okay, so let me walk you through, and I'm going to grab my I'm going to grab my pointer, which is like this. Look at this ridiculously large. Screwdriver. Uh, uh. That is so big because it's like great as a pointer. But all in all, we're going to use this as a pointer. Let's walk you guys through <laughs> what's happening here on the motherboard real quick, and then we'll get you guys. Um, no, I'm not going to bend the pens. Thanks for asking going from there. So um, let's go from this and look at this really big screwdriver. Okay, so up here on the top left, this is called EPS, your EPS power connector. This is what powers your CPU, which is like your brain. And then this is called your VRM, which actually handles all of the power for your CPU in general. So there's a four pin and an eight pin here. The eight pin's the only one we really need to plug in. Okay. The four pins of like you were gonna like go crazy overclocking and use. Do you know what liquid nitrogen is? I'm assuming. Um, yeah, but I don't know how that applies. With it just makes the CPU. It makes it really, really cold, which means you can put a lot of power in and do it. It's nothing you're never gonna do because you hurt yourself really bad. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. but that's what that's for if we wanted to do something like that. Over here, this is your RAM. So these are your RAM slots right here. This is actually dual channel in this case. We've got channel, this is channel B and this is channel A. We're gonna, because we're only gonna be sticking in two sticks of RAM, there's a little diagram right here that shows us where to basically place them because we're not gonna be filling all four. I've actually done that before. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Let's, it's a very famous thing. This right here is called a fan header. It's a fan header. This is like, this is the one that's usually plugged to your CPU. It's the only one you really need to plug in or it'll throw an error. This is where we're gonna plug in our AIO, but that's a fan header. Up here is where all of the magic happens. This is RGB. And everybody knows RGB makes PCs way faster. The more lights, the faster the PC. And actually, I just released a chart on Twitter that says, based on the color, you can also do things like more frames. I'm just kidding. That's actually yeah, not Yeah, I was going to say, are you trolling me? <laughs> I have a feeling you were. Okay. I am trolling you, right? There it is. All in all, but uh, we're going to, this is, a lot of people talk about the RGB, and this is where we make everything look good. We got some two additional fan headers right here. This is, again, where you're going to plug in your stuff for your cooling. This right here is called your ATX power. This is what powers the other three quarters of your motherboard. So this is like a really important one. This is USB-C, which I mean, if you have like an Android phone or a newer iPhone, um, the little USB-C adapter, that's actually what that plugs into. This is USB-3. This is the worst adapter on the planet. It's, it just sucks, but we're going to be using this. This is SATA. Wait, how did I get stuck with that on my build? Can everybody, you that everybody, out? No, it's just oh, okay. everybody. All right. They're just terrible. <laughs> um, this is your SATA power. This is your SATA connector right here. This is for like basically connecting your hard drives, like your physical drives. And then we have two additional fan headers right here. This is your front panel, which is what, like when you push the power button and all that stuff that plugs in there. These are additional SATA, and then you've got USB 2, which is like your, your normal looking hard, your normal looking USB adapters. These are for the front, and then we'll plug in some things here. And then over here, we've got two more fan headers, and then finally, you've got your HD audio, which is all your audio connections. So I just want to give you, like, as I know you're just like, yeah. There's going to be a test right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test you on the. <laughs> no, we're not going to test you. But the main thing I want to do is just give you an idea, like as we start talking about stuff, what it is. Now, the M.2, these are these M.2s. We talked about those hard drives. They're going to blow your mind because they're super small. And then this is where you're going to plug in your GPU. This is called a PCIe. Uh, this is a by 16. This is a by 8. The by 1s is where you stick like an Elgato or whatever it was. And mm -hmm. that's what's there. Okay. And then finally, this is like if you have a debugging CMOS issue, that's what that's for. So. We'll get through it, you'll, yeah. you'll go from there, but that's a little education. I also like to let people know at the beginning, like, hey, this is kind of like, as we're talking about putting in parts, gives you an idea of what it was. Now, I want to get a raise of hands real quick. Who, who learned something from that? Who was like, hey, there's stuff I learned. I had no idea what that stuff going from there. I'm just curious what you guys, what you guys did, if anybody learned anything from uh, walking through that. Yeah. yeah, there we go. We got a couple of people who learned some stuff. There we go. Awesome. Yep. Good. We had a tour. You guys enjoy the tour. Now. One thing that's really important is people ask about dad jokes because I'm tech dad. That's, that's what I do. So my dad joke for you is there's three guys in a rowboat and they have four cigarettes, but no lighter, no way to do it. What should they do? 
What should they do? I'm not sure. So they just throw away one of the cigarettes, and then the boat becomes a cigarette lighter. <laughs> and there it is. I'm still in that. That's stolen. <laughs> That's a, there you go. We have some more dad jokes going from there, and we'll get some of those. But <laughs> Newport. <laughs> Newport. Yes, there we go. Okay, so let's go and open this up. This is your CPU. Mm -hmm. So the CPU is kind of your brain of the whole operation. So this is, uh, by the way, this is the Avengers edition. These were like some special versions of the CPUs that came out with um, Intel. Um, so these are like, they actually have a specific name. They're the 10900KA, which is the Avengers edition. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, well, that, but hey, it's got a cool box. So. I have an Avengers uh, game room. That's perfect. Oh, you should keep there this box in. There you go. So. You've got the Avenger edition of the CPU as well now. Okay, so we're going to open this up. And... Here we go. Okay, so this is all stuff that you don't need. What I, I have a tendency to do is I'll stick all this stuff, kind of the extra stuff in the box for you over here. Okay. But um, here is your CPU right here. Okay, so what I want you to do now is you're going to take out this little bracket, pull it off to the side, and then lift that whole thing up. Wait, this little metal, you see this little metal thing? I see just it. Pull it. Just okay. pull it out okay, okay. from the side. There you go, just like that. And then lift it all the way up, and then lift that up. There you go, okay. This is your socket. You're basically ready to install your CPU. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hand you this. So this is, like my old one is the one that was 8700 as well. Yep, and this is okay. a 10900. Okay. You're gonna hold it from the side. You see that little, these little two, there's two little nubs on the side. They're gonna go into the nubs right here, and the little arrow is gonna line up with the little arrow in the corner there. So you're just gonna stick it in just like that. I'm nervous. Hold on, hold on. Say again. Okay. So all you're going to do is see there's those two little nubs. Uh -huh. They're The little nubs go right there. And then you, so you're just going to line up those nubs. It only goes in one way. Okay. You're good. Okay. Just going to pop, set it right in there. Just like that. Yep. Just drop it. You're good. Boom. You're in. Then what you're going to do is just check. It's in. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this and put it down. You're okay. going to slide that underneath that. Okay. Now using the little attachment, so you just go like this. Got it. Okay, and then now pull that and put it back underneath just like you had it. And then just watch this little thing will pop off. Ooh, look at that magic. That's supposed to happen? Yep, that's good. Congratulations, you've installed a CPU. That's so easy. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so the CPU's in. Um, also, it's also proven that every time you pop this off, it makes you more attracted to whoever you want to be. So you are... I'm married, I'm married. First well, just off, I know, but now she's you know. more attracted to you oh. because of this. I mean, in fact, she wants to deliver that. There you go. There we go. She's oh, probably going to be go. like, oh, she can't, she can't even resist at this point in time. Yep. Okay, so we got that done. Now, let's do the RAM, which is the thing that you have installed before. Yes. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get your RAM out. We're going to save your Avengers Edition box. You can have that for your, for your room. Nice. And then we're going to throw this uh, over there. Okay. Right. This is our RAM. Okay. There's two of these, right? Yeah, there's two of these. Okay, so here on the chart, you can actually see it shows you that it's going to go in slot. Basically, this is B2, uh, sorry, A2 and B2. So we're going to pop these up just like this. Okay, and I'll show you how to do one and you'll do the other. Why does it go on those two and not the other two? Because, um, so a couple reasons. One, um, the, uh, you want to make sure it's in these ones because it actually activates dual channel. Um, if, you only, if you stuck them next to each other and they were right here, there'd only be one channel RAM, which would actually cut the speed in half. The second thing, too, is that uh, when, you, when your CPU basically boots and registers, those are the ones it checks for, and you can, okay. it actually reduces the chance of basically having errors at boot. So there's a couple things um, that go into it. So... There we go. We're going to take this out, give you your sticker, because, you know, stickers make everything faster, too. Sounds good. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this with the first one. So here, you'll see there's a little slot. Mm -hmm. That's called a PCB, or printed circuit board. What you're going to do is line that up with that little slot here, and you're just going to kind of, oop, you have both of them. Go like that, and you just give it a nice solid, you hear that click? Click! That's, like, <laughs> super good. That click, it makes everybody feel good. It'll make you feel good. So I'm going to have you do the same thing with this one right here. All right. There you go. And then just apply from both sides. Yeah, both, there you go. Give it a nice, solid, don't be afraid. Push more from down here. There okay. you go. There you go. Boom, All click. Right. Look at that, that solid click, you're there in. It is. You've got 32 gigs of RAM. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Another part installed. And then we also have the fun of throwing the boxes. Woohoo! Um, okay, now, M.2s. Okay, 
You've got two of these bad boys. These are your hard drives. All right. We're going to need our little, our little handy dandy I fix it. Can I have everybody in the chat say I fix it? I fix it time. It's our super small screwdriver here. Love these kits. Um, so we need a small Phillips head right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this shield. Just like that. Pop that off. Okay. So these are M.2 installation, and then we have these little screws that go onto it. Mm -hmm. We're going to open these up. We're going to put one up here and one up here. So these are the, the 2280, 2260, and 2245. These are the length, the millimeter length of each individual hard drive is okay. what, what we're talking about here. These are all, the majority of these are all 80 millimeter, so they're all going to 2280 um, from there. Now check these out. Have you ever seen these before? No. I love Here. these things. Don't be scared. I have to stop. Don't be screws? scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. Oh man, you do have screws. Mini screws. Yeah, they're. Look at these screws. All right. Okay. Are you okay. prepared? Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm ready. I'm, I, I have faith in you. All right. I have faith in you. Okay. So we're gonna pop this out. This is the uh, 760P from Intel. There's our solid state drive and our little book for you. Okay. So here it is, right here. Okay. Get that off to the side. We're gonna pop this open like so. Okay, so I'll show you how to do the top one and then you're gonna do the bottom one. All right. Again, there's a little slot in the PCB. You guys can see it right here, the little slot right here. We're gonna line that little slot with the little slot here, pop it in, and then it's like a, it's like a diving board. That's how you kind of know it's in. Okay. You're gonna take your super tiny screw that we have in here we're going to open this up and not kill ourselves. Or maybe I'm, okay, I'm not, there we go. Oh, it's able to rip it. Okay. We take this itty bitty screw, just like this, and put it down. And you're just going to screw it in. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take this, peel this. This is called thermal pad. And what it does is it keeps this, because it's underneath the shield, it helps distribute heat onto this. You're just going to pop that in like that. We take our other right screw in. and then screw both of these back in. And what I have a tendency to do is screw this one in a little bit first and then screw the other side in. Okay. Now you only have to do the part half of that because this one's already kind of set up. So now we're going to open this one, which is your one terabyte. Okay. And then have you repeat what I just did. Okay, there's your, there's your drive. Here's your super tiny screw. Don't lose it. To your PC. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of little screws. Okay, now this okay. is magnetic. So the good thing is, is that all you got to do. Oh, you just... got the glitch. I didn't glitch oh, it. That's the glitch screwdriver. No, I, I need, I see, I don't have that at home. Yeah, you need one of those. There you yeah, go. That's I got why some I old, fix it. It's awesome. Yeah. I, 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 I walk you down the path. I give you what you need. I make you happy. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pop that in. See that little slot and how it aligns with that little slot there? Yeah, I see it. Okay, pop it in. Push it pretty hard. You're okay. Push it. Yeah, there you go. Now, check. Do your test. Diving Look at that. Board. Diving board test. Yes, sir. Look at this. You're a pro, dude. Diving board. The diving board test. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You're good to go. I'm scared of the screws still. You should be. But you're going to get it in, no problem. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, my God. That's easy. I know. Okay. And we're going to pop that in and keep our area clear. Okay, so you have now completely, for the most part, set up in the entire motherboard. That's all there was to setting up the motherboard. You've done it. Wow. Look at that. Easy, right? Yes. You yes. were worried about nothing. I Ladies was worried about the screws. I mean, I've never seen the magnetic screwdriver. So oh, really? I need that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully, maybe they'll, uh, maybe, you know, you know you're kind of in with these guys. Maybe you can be like, hey, <laughs> can I just walk away with this hey. iFixit kit or something like that? Yeah, you know, they, they seem to be pretty nice. I mean, uh, but yeah. And plus, you're walking away with a 3080. <laughs> why not? So. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do to make sure that this is completely set up is we're going to set up our socket for our AIO. So this right here, is your X53. This is what cools your, your CPU. Okay. Um, you have a couple different options when you install it. Sometimes you'll see like a massive air cooler. Mm -hmm. And then the option which is this. This is actually has liquid in it, cools it with a special glycol mix um, that basically uh, keeps your, piece, your, um, your uh, uh, CPU cool. And so you, you, depending on which you prefer, 
In this case, we, we gave you, a, we gave you an, uh, an all-in-one liquid cooler, so. Awesome. I, I have a question about this. Um, sure. For, this has the shield. Why doesn't this one have the shield? Um, some, it's, a lot of times it's for aesthetics. Um, okay. Sometimes these things, these shields, um, they can do a better job because of the thermal is dissipating heat. M.2 technologies come, come, come a long way, and so the need for them is not as much as they used to be. Okay. People used to be worried about thermal throttling. Truth be told, not having a shield, given the amount of airflow you're going to have in your case, is probably better in this case, um, but it's like negligible between the two. So going from there. Okay, so we got that open now. Chat's having a good time, looks like. Yep. And going from there, people are like big words. I'm I like your, I like, what is that? I like your little, your magic words, magic man, or whatever it was. I forgot how it goes. <clears throat> I like your funny words. That's right. I like your funny words, magic man, uh, is the uh, meme off of TikTok. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just going to grab the stuff we need for this, which is right now all we need out of here. This looks intimidating. Don't worry. Uh, we'll get to it. <laughs> okay, so what we need out here is the Intel setup stuff. And so it's all labeled. So we'll need this little back bracket here. And then we'll need our little Intel screws. AM4 is for AMD. This is all of our stuff for later. I think that is it for now. Okay, so we're gonna stick this off to the side. Actually, we can put this in here and we'll put it the rest in later. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this case is we're gonna kind of push all these in as close as we can. To the center? Okay. Yeah, to the center. I'm gonna flip this out like that. I'm gonna stick it in these little holes. Just like, there we go. just like that. And then the little trick is starting at the bottom and then you can slide it up. Okay, so there you go. Now what I'm gonna have you do, since I got your back plate on, is I'm gonna take you, have you take these four pegs right here and you're gonna screw one of those into each one of those holes. Okay. Pegs and holes. There we go. You Doesn't can matter which, they're both the same size. They're all the same size, yep. All the way? Yep, all the way until they just don't, don't worry about over tightening them, just enough so it basically, they're tight. Got it. There we go. AIO, so Coolin from uh, Twitch is saying, what is an AIO? It's AIO, A I, not AYO, and it stands for all in one cooler. And this is, like I said, it's basically what basically cools the CPU. Got it. Don't worry, he's not, uh, Fiji's a little worried about it. Don't worry, he's going to be fine. Oh, yeah, I see him. Don't worry, Fiji, he's going to be absolutely fine. <laughs> as, if you have a problem, think of it as like old McDonald's. A I A I O. And on his farm, he had a CPU cooler. AI, AI, oh, I don't know, I just made that up. Everybody here is laughing. They think it's hilarious, guys. They, they, they do, I promise. No, nope, maybe not. Okay, well, there we go. Um, okay, so you got it in? Yep. Feeling good? That was easy, man. There we go, yeah, this is, see, it's not so bad. Starting to feel confident now. You're starting to feel confident? You were oh, not yeah. feeling confident before? I was scared. Okay, let me check your work. Oh, that one wasn't very tight. Really? You get a D. I'm just kidding. No, you're fine. This is great. No, it's perfect. Okay. Oh. So that's ready. How does it look? Does it look pretty good? Wait, that's done? Yeah, it's done. Yeah. PC's done. Okay, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We're just going to... No, I'm just kidding. We're not done. Oh. We're going to go grab... Why don't you grab that case right there? This is the case your PC is going in. We're going to pop it right here in the center. This is the Fantex P500A. This is the Airflow Edition. Um, absolutely awesome case. What we're going to do now is we're just going to strip it down to its like bare essentials. It just becomes a lot easier to work with and be a light on. So these are kind of like Vulcan doors, but first thing you want you to do is go and unscrew those. Okay. You need the massive screwdriver. No, oh, take, okay. it, take the screw all the way out, you're saying? Yeah, just, just until the edge, yeah. Okay. They're what are called captive screws, okay. which means they don't have to come all the way out. It's just, there, there you go. Now I'm going to pull this. Oh, that one should be out. No, nope, he's going to pull this way, actually. There oh, there Okay, there you go. So that's open like that. I'm sticking on top of this. Okay, now for the front, I'm going to pull this open from the bottom. There you go. And then mm -hmm. just keep going and then lift up. See how this, just like that. Perfect. Put this off to the side over here. There we go. Okay, now last thing is we're going to remove 
this, which is your little, that's your little filter. And then from the front, I'm going to have you just pull from the bottom, and this whole bottom is going to come off. So just pull. Don't be afraid. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And your PC is now stripped. The last thing we're going to do is we're just going to remove this. This is all your accessories for your case. Okay. Okay. Now, PCs basically, this is all stripped. As you can see now, if you lift it, what you lifted before, much lighter. Yep. Yep. So nice and easy for your, for your, uh, you're, you've got mad strength. <laughs> okay, all we're going to do now is we're just going to take this and we're going to set it down like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I want you to grab, actually, I'll do this here. Grab the motherboard. I'm going to set it down just like that. Push it all the way over. Okay, now inside, you'll see these little screws. See them right there, right there, right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. The... You're going to be screwing things in. Okay. So in here in this fancy little box he gave us is filled with screws and other like eight of them? fun supplies. There should be nine. Okay. Three in the middle. Oh, except for, yeah, no, there's nine. Okay. Three there, three there, and three at the top. And here is your screws. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so what you're going to do is go ahead and open that up. And the ones you're looking for have a little lip on them. So these right here. Okay. And here's your massive, oh, right? we'll not use that. We'll use this one. We don't have another magnetic? The magnetic? This is also magnetic here as well. Yes, sir. The okay, magnetic glitch. Magnetic, magnetic glitch. Four. You need nine of them. There you go. Five. Don't worry, Chop Rex is one of these, like, you're going to crack the board. He is not going to crack the board. I am here to guide him. He's going to be, he's going to be absolutely fine. <laughs> fine. And we have somebody who's speaking in Russian. That's good. We don't know what you said, but thanks for stopping by. So there we go. Right. Okay. Wait, does it matter which one I start? Nope. Just start somewhere in the middle. This is usually fine. Okay, let's actually let's get a little bit more. It doesn't seem like it's quite lined up here. Oh no, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, just go ahead and start right there. There you go. Put it in the middle. And just screw it down. There you go. And just screw until it stops. Okay. They have not a lot of they have not a lot of faith in you. Really? That's surprising. Somebody's asking, somebody's asking, what channel am I watching? We're actually watching all the channels. So we actually see combined, yeah. we see every single chat. Um, so we see my chat, uh, Intel's chat, we see YouTube, we see all of them. So we're seeing all of it stuff, all the stuff at the same time. So somebody's saying, which chat am I reading? I'm actually reading from all of them. Yep. There we go right there. Perfect. How's it feel so far? Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, pretty pretty good. So. It looks good. This is going to be a nice, clean-looking build. It's going to be awesome. There you go. Oops. Where'd it go? Right here. I'm surprised the screw came out. Yeah. I'm actually going to be using the build tonight. I'm going to be streaming tonight. Oh, really? Okay, so you guys will be able to see yeah. it right from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Here, you want to try to use this one instead? Yeah. This has a little bit more magnetic power. Yeah, maybe this more, one. More powerful glitch, <laughs> as you call it. <clears throat> no, no wow stick tonight, guys. I'm sorry. We're, but I did talk to them about getting a wow stick later. So don't worry. We'll, we'll, definitely, uh, we'll definitely try and work on having a debut of the wow stick. In the case, just because, oh, there's, there's going to be RGB. Don't worry. We got lots of, we got lots of RGB uh, going into this PC. I think he's got a total of... He'll have a total of six RGB fans when we're all said and done. He's not going to be streaming Gordon Ramsay. No, there's no good. <laughs> you a big Gordon Ramsay fan? Yeah, actually, we actually do stream that. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm sorry. So <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we watch some Hell's Kitchen. Okay, there we go. Maybe he will stream some Gordon Ramsay. This seems like it'll do 43 Gordon Ramsay streams at the same time. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually uh, known as the the best chef on Twitch. Really? Yeah. Oh, so what's what's your what's your go-to like if we're gonna do like if you're gonna have like a cook-off and Gordon Ramsay was like yeah. okay we're gonna have a Twitch cook-off what are we what are we doing um a little uh, beef Wellington okay beef Wellington you so familiar? that's like puff pastry right uh, I guess yeah I yeah, guess rough puff puff pastry with uh, yeah like surrounded basically a, a beef uh, 
um, surrounded with like puff pastry in general. Like, what's your what's your um, what about dessert? Dessert. Um, see, I'm not. That was a question I wasn't pre prepared for. Uh oh. You had, to, you had to think about it. Yeah. I'm not really a dessert person. Okay. Is this one in correctly? Bottom right. I don't think it is. Okay, let me take a look at it with this one. Sometimes it can get a little finicky. Yeah, it just needs to go down a little bit more. There you go. I mean, the one thing that's really tough about sometimes the, the smaller screwdrivers. Yeah, so far so good. You're good. You're yeah. good. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I like Beef Wellington. That's really good. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll let you keep going. Perfect. A screwdriver for you. I like, um, I'm trying to think of like, like all in all, like I think for me, it's like uh, maybe what would be good, a good pairing for a um, beef Wellington, like a classic pairing would be like a sticky toffee pudding, uh, which would be super good. Um, I think the other thing too is like you could do like, uh, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of other, other really good desserts. But yeah, I mean, you could always do it like a pie or something like that. Um, but like a beef anglaise or something like that. Ooh, somebody's saying risotto. So there we go. Yeah, start you off with some with some of my popular risotto. Oh, there you go. There it is. Yeah. Or like they must know me. They must. The other thing too that would also be like, uh, which I think would like would also be kind of a cool pairing is like something like a, um, um, oh man, uh, the potato. New, uh, gosh darn it! I just forgot the name of them. Never mind. What are you talking about? Potato? Yeah, they're they're uh, noodles made from potato. Uh, somebody help me out. Does anybody, they, they're, they're, they're in a, it's a, somebody's going to, no, not Noki. Thank you very much. Noki. Thank you. I couldn't remember the name of it all of a sudden. Noki. Like a nice Noki. Oh, Noki. Yeah. It's really good. They, everybody's like Noki. You guys are. <laughs> we like to cook. You guys know too much. All right. Is that? Um, I think so. Do you get the one, one in the top corner? Yeah. There's usually one in the yeah, top so left corner. Yeah. You just rotate it around just like that. Scallops, no. So yeah, so what's what's your like, what why Hell's Kitchen? What is it that you like about Hell's Kitchen so much? Uh, Ramsey, he's funny. Oh, yeah, he's just funny. Yeah. He's pretty good on TikTok too. <laughs> he's like uh, watching him on TikTok as he like watches people do things like grill Cheetos in like a sandwich maker. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Okay, so let's take. What you got? You got nine screws. I see nine screws and nine holes. Okay, we're good there. Okay, so next part is we're going to build our AIAIO, as we say it. Okay. So we're going to put this out of the way, but that's what your build is going to look like for the most part. Take this down just like that. Now we're going to grab the other parts of this. Okay, so you have a radiator and all that stuff, but we're going to replace the fans on this with um, RGB, because that makes it run faster, of course. There we go. Okay, so, so I'm just going to verify. I'm thinking you're being serious and you're you think? still trolling. <laughs> no, okay, there we go. That's what I want, right? Just like that. Um, I'm going to grab our two other fans, RGB fans. Everybody, there's always like a joke about um, RGB and making it run faster, even though it really doesn't, but... We all like to pretend. <laughs> we tr we're just trying to justify spending a bunch of money on pretty lights. There it is. Because I mean, like you could just like, if you want to like, a, there's, a, there's like another kind of realm of PC builders, which is like more of like the stealth guys who are like, the PC doesn't look like anything spectacular, but it'll like totally still do just as well as. You got it. But you I mean, hey, you got it. If you spend this kind of money on a PC, you want it to look good, right? Yeah, I want mine to be flashy. Exactly. 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 So are you going to have, are you people going to be able to see the PC on stream, you think? Um, no, they're not going okay. to be able to. Okay. Maybe I set it up to where they can, though. I might as well flex with it. Exactly. Okay, so for this, what we're going to do is in here, I'm going to have you do one and I'll do the other, is we have these little dampeners. And these dampeners are doing things to just keep noise levels a little bit low. You don't really need them, but we're going to do it just because. It's always fun. So on the bottom here, we're going to take these little O-ring type things. Mm -hmm. Peel them off, and you're just going to stick them on okay. just like that. And then I'll work on this one as well. Sticker time. It's craft it. time here on Mod, Intel Mod Mondays. We're crafting our, we're putting our stickers on our fans. Not you guys, not you fans, these fans. Sorry, guys, those of you watching. 
can't believe I forgot the word gnocchi. I never even heard of that. It's a very good, it's a, it, if you ever go to like a good Italian place, order a gnocchi. Super good. Who else, who else is like a big fan of gnocchi? Yeah. I can't, I can, somebody's saying I can put a sticker on them. Italian? Okay, that would be, yeah, Italian. Yeah, I'm getting pizza. Oh, there you, you go. Know? There, pizza. Hawaiian pizza? You oh, like? yeah, dude, that's my wife's favorite. Let's go. No, some people would be like very, like pineapple on pizza is like a thing for some people, right? Yes, it should be. It should, yeah. yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to put these like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our screws. And you're going to be putting, this is like the most, it's the one thing that's always tough. Think of this as like adult Lego. Okay. It's like Technic adult Lego. Oh, I should be good with Legos. There you go. I wish I stays with the Lego, so. Lego's awesome. I'm gonna make them proud. Right I now. just got finished doing the uh, the Lego Ra the Lego Range Rover Defender um, this weekend, so I like Lego. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's get this out. Okay, there's all our screws. There's a lot of people that say pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Some wow. people say that, and they, my wife Imagine. would argue that they are wrong. But I, uh, I don't mind it. It's not, I don't have a strong opinion either way. Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is you're going to take one of these, just like that, and you're gonna, we're going to go ahead and just get these started in the corners, just like that. I'm going to get these two of these started, and then you can put in all the screws. Right. That way we just don't, the one thing, the main reason I start these is that you don't want to obviously puncture the radiator and have water leak all over your PC. That'd be bad. Because okay. water and electronics do <laughs> not go well together. All right. I don't know if you've ever peed on an electric fence. It's not fun. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I, have, I mean, everybody, everybody in chat's done that, I have, right? I must say I have Everybody, not. you know, at least once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the, like, everybody's like, wait. <laughs> I have. <laughs> No, I have not. I would not recommend doing it. I just knew that, but I've known so many people do. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do now is go ahead and screw these down until they're tight. Okay. And then I will get the other screws for okay. you, and then you can put the other ones in afterwards. There you go. Tag teaming. There you go. Doesn't have to be. No, just tight. Yeah, it doesn't yet. have to be super tight. Yeah. Three and four. Okay, there you go. There's your other screws. Don't need these, just good. These are the two fans. Yeah, I don't think there was three. Uh, there's three why. on the front. Oh, okay. This is just these are gonna. This is gonna get mounted to the top. Got it. So yeah, that's a you, there is, but just for the sake of this, there's not in this part of it anyway. Okay, these are what we need for later. These can get put away. Along with this. Okay, and then you, you just, just take, drop in there, right? Yeah, okay. just drop in and screw them just like you did the other, screw the other ones in just like you did those. Okay. And I'll need four of these. Oh, there'll be some of the other stuff in here. There we go. Oops. Is it going in? There he goes. Is it not? Yeah, let me give it. Yeah, let me give it a. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, just got to The holes are like the good thing is is like with me having placed them so they're centered. So you just got to find the little, you know, the little hole that that'll pop down. Okay. Look at you putting a PC together like a boss. There it is. And there you go. It's kind of. There, I, heard, I think I heard it go in. No? Oh, no. It's always the fun part. Putting it right. <laughs> Let me get it going. I feel like maybe I over tightened one, that one and it like moves it. Yeah. Sometimes that can happen, yeah, for sure. There we go. There you go, right? Just like that. And I'll let you finish the last two. Okay. Oh, some so somebody uh, in chat wanted to know what's your MCS finals record? 
They said that? Yeah. <laughs> they're trolling me. Oh, they're trolling you. Um, <laughs> MCS final. So MCS is Madden Championship. Yep. And um, it started in 2016. They started this new MCS thing. Okay. I'm 0 and 4 in the finals. 0 and 4? Yeah, they're trolling. Oh, they're trolling? They like to do that. <laughs> they like seeing me lose money. Well, you guys are the nicest. You've got a really nice community there. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing. <laughs> they seem to be having fun with. Uh, yeah. Seem to be having fun with that. Nice. Nice. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tomber, for uh, setting that question up he's too. Try, he's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying <laughs> to sit here and build. He's trying to PC PC build. You guys are like taking. You're distracting. Don't That's let what they do. You. They kick me when I'm down. It's okay. Yeah. Well. Don't worry. You can flex on them with a new PC when you're exactly. when you're good to go. There it is. Okay. We're gonna stick this off to the side just like this. Okay. Okay. Now. We're gonna grab the PC that's down here and we're gonna install one more fan real quick. So we're gonna grab our 140 millimeter fan. This is gonna be your exhaust fan. Okay, so there's all our stuff that we need for that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, actually we'll take this off so you can see, people can see it a little bit better. We're gonna have you go ahead and put the sticker thing again. Okay. You're gonna put the stickers on the back just like you did before. Got it. So you need a big old exhaust fan. There you go. Take these out. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Four stickers, right? Yep, four stickers in just each one of the corners. Somebody's asking how much does the build cost? Uh, it costs just at 3000 That's pre-tax. Oh, well, maybe, actually it might be a little bit. It's probably like 3100 post-tax, actually. So, pretty good though. The main reason being is that, uh, uh, the problem is, is that with the, with, the current, um, with the current tariff issue, the cost of the GPU, these are GPUs that used to be, you know, seven, eight hundred bucks. Now they're close to 1000 so they're just, they jumped up a lot just talking about like the, the 3080 thing. Yeah, the 3080. Okay, so now we're going to do is we're going to install this in this corner right here. So I'll hold it and then you can screw in the screws. Here's the four screws you'll need. Someone said, why not use a bigger case? There's bigger cases? This, oh, yeah, but this case is more than big enough for this. Yeah. Um, this is a great size case, um, perfect amount for this size motherboard and all the components we're putting in here. This is a, this is a still from a, from a full size, from a mid tower standpoint, still a pretty large mid tower case. Got it. Um, so uh, you, but yes, they do have cases, but usually those require like you need a lot more components to kind of fill those out Got or it. you can do certain cases, certain circumstances where um, the, um, the PC specifically ends up uh, what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, like where you can do dual PC builds in a single case. Oh, uh, kind of like what I was talking, yeah. like how I might dual PC. Yeah, but this one would be like both of the PCs are in the same, in the same case. Oh, which wow. Is pretty cool. And the e Fantex, which is the company we're using right here, actually does make a case um, like the Evolve X. Actually, this one would do it too. You can actually put two PCs in this case as well if you really want it to. Okay, we're just going to pull this through. Like so, there we go. Oh, my wife is in here trolling, what did she say? Uh oh. Someone copy paste it, please. She's trolling too? I mean, she, she's sitting there trolling, joining in. Got one stuck cable here. There we go. I might have to run this through a different hole. It's a little bit hole. They said you can have two motherboards and one PC. Yep. This C right here, this little slot in the very back, you can actually stick a micro ATX motherboard in here and actually run two builds in this case. And actually have like two separate PCs so you'd only, you're taking up less stuff, less, less room on your desk. Okay, there we go. We'll do it this way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that right there. First, I'm going to get these not to be in the way. Okay, do you see those little... Put those in there. Yeah, you're gonna put those right on like I need this cord as a screwdriver. Right here. And this cord is in between it. That's okay. 
We'll just move that out of the way. There you go. There you go, just like that. Getting that exhaust fan in. Starting to look more like a normal PC now. Cool. Nice. And then they're going to put this one in over here. Or actually, do the bottom corner first. Bottom corner. Yep. Got it. There we go. No, the, G the 30 series GPUs that we're using are not from the black market. <laughs> These are not from the black market. Though I have to say, like, where we, I mean, honestly, like, getting a 30 series GPU up until about two weeks ago, you could still get them. I mean, they still regularly showed up in stock at Newegg, Amazon, you know, Micro Center, all those kind of places. Now they've just been really, really out of stock. So it's been pretty bonkers really? as of late. Yeah. Getting these have been very hard. 3070 is a little bit easier. Um, we've seen some 6,000 series AMD GPUs show up um, more regularly now, but 3080s have just not been in stock for a while. So hopefully that's something that we'll see changes. Um, I was talking to some people at EVGA and it's just, hopefully we'll see some of that stuff, hopefully get better here pretty soon. Okay. so. We've got our last fan in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to install our AIO. So we're going to do, this is a little bit of an interesting one here. We're going to need this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna what we're going to do just to make this a little bit easier, push this off to the side like that, mm -hmm. is we're going to untwisty tie all this stuff like so. Okay. Same thing here, and twisty tie this like so. And now to make this a little bit simpler, we're going to grab these zip ties. And these are like PC builder's best friend, and this is all about cable management. Mm -hmm. and what we're going to do is we're going to zip tie these together like this right here in the center. See, I would have the cables just everywhere. You got yeah. the zip ties on. Oh that. yeah, you got to make nice. it look good. It's all about the cable management. You want a clean build. You want to you want to make sure that you, again, like if you're going to spend 3 grand, you know, on a PC, you want to make sure it looks nice. So, yep. what we're doing right now is just tightening this up. This will keep the cables from popping down so you can see them. And then this also make it a little easier to run the cables afterwards. There we go. Just like that. Let me take these handy dandy toils. Just clip them. Just clip them off. Yeah, just like that. Cool. Okay. Now, there we go. Get that out of the way. So, what we're going to do, it's a little bit of an awkward part. We're going to take this, and these all have to run, and I'm going to hand them to you okay. on the other side back here. You can see, I'm going to start pulling all those through. All right. There's one more right there. Okay, keep pulling. I got him. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over like this. And we're just going to mm. simply keep pulling here. Okay. Simply just mount. This goes right here at the top. And we want it right, I think, that far. Here we go. This is the best place for mount here, right here. Oh. Looking for the best mount holes here. Mm, looks like it does want it to go. It's really far over. Oh, there we go. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you want to start putting these, put a washer and a screw together yep. on each, each one. And I'll have you. Okay, we're going to take the first one. I'm going to put one in the corner right here. Get it. There it is. Let's start screwing it like that. And if you want to get me, hand me one more. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Oop, and I totally took the washer off of that. Good job, Ruby. <laughs> Do this one right here. That is a total of six. There's a total of um, four, eight. Okay. okay. There you go. Okay. So now that's mounted and then I'll let you finish this out. Go ahead and tighten these real quick. 
You did two of them then, right? I did two, yep. Okay. And you should have six more. Yep. I do. Okay, cool. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put <clears> one of those in each one of those slots at the top. Got it. And then we've got our AIO essentially mounted, and then we'll get it hooked up here in a minute. And what does this do again? The this AIO? is what does your cooling. So I'll, sh I'll show you. What we'll put it down here in a minute, and okay. I'll show you about how this whole thing works, which is pretty cool. <laughs> he just used a, I put a used part in. Nope, nope, we did not do that. We have watched <laughs> me literally open all of the boxes. It's all brand new. So that's kind of a weird, kind of a weird thing to say. <laughs> okay, uh, while we're waiting, guys, I'm going to take a look. Let's grab another dad joke because everybody loves the dad jokes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, ask the chat. Let's see if they can get it. Okay, remember when plastic surgery was a taboo subject? Now you mention Botox and nobody raises an eyebrow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One to ten, that, was a, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, and these are, if you guys are wondering, uh, if you're on my Discord, the, on my Discord channel, there's a, there's a whole channel dedicated to just dad jokes. Um, it goes, uh, if you want to, by the way, if you want to know where I store all my dad jokes, it's in a database. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Oh, I love that one. That's so good. And again, if you have some super awesome ones, head on over to our Discord channel. You can go down there, check the link, uh, pop over there. We we'll read them. We'll call them out. I forgot to do that. I forgot to uh, give you guys the credit. Now, if they're super funny, I don't give you the credit, and I pretend that I made them. That's not true. Uh, that was Hey Harker. Thank you very much for that one. Zeistin uh, with the um, original, with the plastic surgery, and then again, uh, Sternum with that one. Okay. When can you see, oh, sorry, where can you see a paint, uh, painting by a cow? Painting by a cow. Your son's gonna love this one. Where? In a museum. Oh. <laughs> I should have thought of that. Like, I'm not smart enough to think of these witty answers. <laughs> They're so witty. Okay, cool. We got them all in. We got everything good there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna very carefully kind of lay this down, and then you're gonna we're gonna finish hooking up our AIO. AIAIO. Okay, so like you see now how we, we zip tied that, so now those cables are up there nicely. Oh, you, you really cool. right there. Okay, so the way this works, this is called, the way this works is this is going to sit on your CPU like this. Now you see these cables? There's actually liquid that runs up to, this is a radiator, and then as it goes through the fins, these fans are cooling those, and then it comes back through. So this whole thing is running basically liquid all the way through that this IHS, this is called an IHS or an, uh, an internal uh, heat spreader. Um, it's basically hitting this cold plate through this thermal paste. And then it, that's what's basically uh, causing your CPU to stay cool. Okay. And obviously the cooler the temperatures, the more you could push it and the more you could push it, the better the performance. Okay. So that's what this does. So what we're going to do now is real quickly, is grab these cables, lots of cables with PC building, unfortunately, <laughs> lots of cables. And so first one, this is your basically, this one right here, we're gonna plug into your AIO. And this is your power. So it gives power to your AIO. And then this is actually what your motherboard, how your motherboard talks to it to tell it uh, how fast to spin uh, the pump, Got it. which is in there. This is basically what lets you change all the coloring and all that sort of stuff. So this is USB. And then finally, something that's useful that we'll definitely need in this build is this is what allows us to plug multiple fans into a single, remember the fan connections I was yep. talking about? This allows me to put multiple fans into, uh, into one fan. It's like a little yep. adapter. So it's a splitter. Yep. Yeah, splitter. And the main reason we'll need that is because we have a ton of fans. So we're mm -hmm. gonna have, we have you know, six total fans and we don't have that many fan headers. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna go ahead and hook some of these things up real quick. So you're going to take this, and that's going to go plug in right there. Top right. Top right, right here. Yep. What is it? Yep. Top just, one or yeah, that? Top okay. one. Yeah, either one is actually OK. You should see there's a little lip. See there's a little lip, uh -huh. and then there's a little bit of plastic right there? That little lip surrounds that little bit of plastic. Oh, so it should be this way then. All right, this is the inside? Yep, okay. just like that. Yep, and don't be afraid, there you go. Just like that, perfect. Okay, and then what we're gonna do now is these two things we're gonna plug into our cooler. 
So this one, I'm going to go and play this one in just because goes right there. Just like that. And then this one is going to go right here. Got it. Okay. Now this right here, same way as you plug in that other one, is going to go right there. Top left. This one, right? Yep. I'll kind of push that down. There you go. Just like that. Yep. Um, and it should just it should go towards the around the plastic. Perfect. Good. Now what we're going to do. We're going to disconnect. Take this little plastic plate off. Now this one has pre-applied pre thermal paste. We don't have to worry about anything like that. It's going to go like this. We're going to take this. Put it down just like that. And all four of those little. Pegs. There we go. Okay, now take these. I'm going to put one in, and then I'll have you put, get them on, and I'll have you tighten them. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It would help if I put it on, right? Not upside down. Good job, Roby. <laughs> whoopsie. The rule that I have is every time I say whoopsie uh, when I'm streaming, uh, then my uh, my uh, my tech guys have to do a shot. So <laughs> they're asking you give away PCs. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we give away one a month. Oh wow. Pretty much. Okay. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna use this. And you're gonna go kind of like this. So you're gonna start here. Give it like three. And you're gonna go here. Give it like three, Got and then it. you're gonna rotate around just like that. So starting here and here, and yeah. then r rinse and repeat. And that's just to tighten down the AIO. There you go. There you go, just like that, perfect. And the reason that we're doing that, guys, is because we're trying to make sure there's an even distribution of pressure as he's tightening the AIO. We don't have to worry about it as much with this particular one, but we're just gonna keep doing that until they don't spin anymore. And then once you get, yeah. And then after this, once you do it one more, once you do finish this little kind of rotation, you can go all the way to the bottom. Okay. So. It should stop, right? Yep. It should oh, eventually there, just there stop. It there it goes. Yep. And then just make sure all of them are all the way down. Perfect. Okay, we are cooking with gas. We're just going to run. What we're going to do is we're just going to run these little bit of cables in, and then afterwards, we're going to take a break. Okay. It should be fast. So I'm just going to, there's a little bit of front cable management, and then you'll see that we're pretty close to, once, once this is done, guys, we're essentially halfway done with the build. Good job, man. Good job. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, cool. so a couple things we're going to do now. We're going to rotate this because this is rotatable. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to run these last little cables up and over. Just get them ready for cable management here. We're going to run these up like this underneath. And then what we do is just to make sure they look good. You want them to look like they're basically a single cable. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this out of the way. So we're going to use a zip tie to get that to look that way. So okay. we're going to grab our couple zip ties here. And again, this is just about making sure builds look really clean because, you know, regardless, this is built by you and Robitech. So we <laughs> want to make sure that it looks like a Robitech build, you know? Yeah. That's important. Quality. Quality. Where does the blue cable, remember we talked about those blue cables earlier? Where do those come in? Oh, we'll put those in probably near the end. When we're okay. putting those on, you're like, you're basically getting close to basically Got it. Okay. at that point in time. Okay. So then we're going to grab one more of these. We're going to use that right here. Kind of get this one grouped together. And then afterwards, after this, we're going to get it all. There you go. And this is just to make it look nice. Yep. Okay. Then what we're going to do, well, these are all sitting like this. I'm gonna run all the rest of this. Oh, I unplugged it, but it's okay. 
We're gonna get these. Have you ever tried to build this as fast as possible? Yep. Like so we did one, actually I just did a video um, where we built one with all RGB and everything, everything all, and we did it in 40, what, what hour? Was it an hour and a half? I think is what it was, guys. One hour and a half with the whole thing. I've done, okay. the fastest I've ever <laughs> built a complete PC was 20 minutes. Wow. And that was like, all we had to do is do motherboard, stock cooler. Like you, it was, it was really it, very, very easy build to build. And I've done that in 20 minutes. That's crazy. But the cable managed one was like, I was legit proud of that one because that was like, it looked super clean. It was like, it was not, it was not set to be, it was not optimized for being a speed build, but it still looked really nice when it gets all said and done. Um, and then going from there. Okay, so there we go. What we're doing right now is we're just making sure that all of the cables are in and clean. I just want you to look at this and be like, I'm proud of this build. Okay, so we're gonna give it one more zip tie here real quick. Coming together nice. It is. is, it is. I agree. You got yourself a nice PC, dude. Yeah. Okay. That's gonna knock the other one out the park. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. And then now what you'll see is when I put this down, people will see how nice it looks. So now. Oh, yep. You can just, you're gonna cut the zip tie yep, thing? I'm gonna cut yeah. the zip ties. And then the last part is rotating it around. So cut these. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, and then what you do, just to make sure the cables look nice, just rotate them under. Got it. Takes a little bit of work. And there we go. And there we go. Okay, cool. And see now, Almost looks like a single bunch of cables going all the way up. Yeah, it looks awesome. How do you think? It looks yeah, good awesome. so far. Yes, okay, guys. Well, we are going to take a three-hour break. Just kidding. No, it's <laughs> only going to be about five, six minutes. So we're going to take a little bit of a break here. We will be back. Um, just going to make sure that things look good. And we will see you guys in just a few. What is up, guys? We are back. That was a very restful break. I took like a three hour nap. <laughs> um, I also like went for a drive. Mm. It's really nice here. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, all it all, we have like a, we have like a, uh, we have like a time warp here in the uh, Intel Mod Monday studios. It actually gives us like more time. Mm -hmm. uh, not GPU yet. I know some people are like, hey, is it GPU time? Not yet. Uh, we are actually going to do everybody's favorite thing, cable management. Yay. But, I'm probably the worst at that. No, it's so. okay. What we're going to do now is we're basically going to turn this over, and we're going to prepare to hook all of the things up to the front of the motherboard, um, which is always just going to take, which always just takes some time. Um, but the main reason we're doing this right now is because um, it's just easier to do it as we go. So really, really close. It's not because we can daisy chain most of these things together. It won't take a lot of time, but uh, it's just one of the things that we always like to get done. Because look at this rat's nest over here. Yep. Oh, there it is. The rat's nest <laughs> of cables. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly daisy chain most of the stuff together and kind of get it ready to go. Okay. So I'm going to undo all of these and kind of prep it for the fun. Okay. So, and then what we got to do is we got to find in here somewhere is essentially one little cable that has, allows us to connect, there it is right there, allows us to connect the other RGB into it. Okay, so these, I'm gonna kind of get our fans out of the way. What we're gonna look for is all of our RGB stuff. Okay, so these are the RGBs for our fans right here. Okay? Yep. So I'm just gonna get kind of the rest of this out of the way. Like so. So what I'm gonna do is to take this RGB and plug this into here. And there we go, now we're daisy chain there. And then we're gonna take this RGB, plug this into here, and now we're daisy chain there. And then the last one is down here somewhere is a, oop, I lied, we're gonna do it the other way. Yeah, how do you know which ones are which? Just, There's just so many lot, of these things. Just a lot of practice. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna plug that in. There you go, that's gonna go like this. And then this is gonna go in here. And then this, is gonna go in here, and now all our, our now all our fans RGB is hooked up. Okay, Got it. that's critical. Now what we're gonna do is remember that cable you ran. 
Mm -hmm. This is fan, and you remember that from our little thing, so we just gotta hook all these up. So there's our fans, these are all the fans for our AIO and, for, nope, that's power. These are all the fans for the AIO and the fans for the exhaust. So we're gonna get all these hooked up real quick, just like that. The last one is right here. There we go. Okay, now, so all of our fans are now hooked up, mm -hmm. and all of our, like, our top stuff. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply do is route all this stuff kind of together. Got it. And just, so just well, one well. time, yep. Nothing too crazy, but that's just to keep, keep this kind of going straight. And that's all we'll do here until after. I'm gonna zip tie it again. Okay, yep. I see. So we just want it to, you gotta, it's gotta look pretty in the back too. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go, there's our channel. We're gonna do the same thing here, just to kind of make sure it stays looking pretty. And never, here's my, here's my hint. Ne like one reason I like about zip ties is zip ties are super inexpensive. So never be afraid to buy them and use them. <laughs> Because the more, like it just like it ends up having a much cleaner look, mm -hmm. kind of the more you use. There we go, just like that. We're gonna do this last one. So your your special power is uh, cable management. Oh yeah, it's like pretty much the worst special power to have, right? Like <laughs> all you know, like Superman has like you know bulletproof. I can like cable manage. Yay for me. Um, but people people do like people do like the way it looks though, which is nice. Is Prob getting this for free? Is who? Oh, yeah. Is, am I getting this for free? They're saying, I mean, you not see me putting in the labor? Is that free? <laughs> that is <laughs> true. That is true. It. It's he's getting it because he, I mean, he's, he's, you know, I mean, when you're when you're as attractive as you are, man, I like mean, you, you, all the avenues are open in life. Man. There we go. OK, cool. So we got that hooked up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run all of our cables so then you can hook them up on the other side. All right. OK. So you don't need to worry about that one. We'll worry about cable management and the rest of this here pretty soon. Um, this is HD audio. So that's going to go right down here. This is fan header. We have three of them. I just got to find out. I got to remember where all these are. So we'll figure that out here in a second. This is RG. OK, this is USB-C. This is going to go up here just like that. Okay, then we have USB that, remember that, that cable I told you I hated? This is the USB. That's the one right there? That's the one right there. Unfortunately, you need it. How do you hate that? Because it's, it's you'll see. You get to hook it up, so All right. have fun with that. Um, I think USB 2, let's see where that goes. USB 2, I'm gonna go, okay. Run this right here, like that. Um, then we need, Finding all of our cables here. RGB, this is your RGB header. And we gotta see where the one at the bottom is. It is right there. So it goes right over here with the other got USB. It. These are all the cables we gotta hook up. These are those little front panel connectors I was talking about. There's gonna be a couple of them here. So there's our power. This is our power switch. That's gonna go right there in the front. Uh -huh. Let's see what else we got here. Oops. Off the side, yeah. They're both fans. I'm trying to find, make sure I'm not missing any other, other cables here. Okay, so here's our three fans. I think there should be there's three fans. And I need three places to plug them in. So I'm going to look for those real quick. Two there. Looks like I got two there and one I could do all the way at the back. Okay, so I can do two right here. Like that. And then one all the way back here. So that takes care of all of our cables are routed. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing. Nope. Nope. Okay. We are ready to hook everything up. All right. You're ready to hook everything Let's up. Do it. Let's do it. Okay. Flipping this over. Ooh. Now we have the mess, rat's nest over here. Okay. So first one we're going to hook up is USB-C. So this one right here. Okay. It's just going to basically be like that. Just going to stick it right in there. It only goes in one way. And if it does, if it's not going in, then turn it around. Mm. Okay. Should it be snug? It should, yeah. If not, then flip it over and then do yeah. it. Try it the other way. There it goes. Yeah, this way's easier. There you go. Perfect. Okay. This is 
the worst cable, unfortunately. And what you want to do here, you basically want to go at 90 degrees. Actually, I'm just going to do this because I don't want you to bend the pen. <laughs> That's seriously the worst. Just like that. Okay, cool. Done. Okay, next one. This is our power switch. Mm -hmm. This is going to get plugged into this little connector right here, but it's the far, it's these two pins right here. This is going to go over those two pins right there. The two pins that are closest to this plus the, the left. See where I'm on top yep. of those two, those two pins. Okay. Let me see. Awesome. Good job. Okay. Next up is our fan headers. Um, okay. And then these, actually, we're going to route these a little bit different here. And pull these out. Oops. That's like my uh, sweatshirt, Chet. My hat. <laughs> I think this you're is my new baseball team. I think you're trolling them, huh? Yeah. Well, I used to be an Indians fan. Oh. I've been a fan of the Mets for a month. Oh, so now it's like, it's like new. Yeah. The Indians decided they don't like winning, so okay. I'm out of there. I'm not loyal to that. Okay, so now we're going to run these right in here. Okay, stay. Okay, cool. So what you're going to do is see these two right here? See those two fan headers? Yep. You've hooked those up before. Go ahead and both plug of those these? In. Yep, both of those. One into each one of those. Got it. Doesn't matter which one's... Nope, nope. Either one is fine. There we go. You play any sports games? Do I play any sports games? I played, played Madden. Uh, I played some NHL. Um, I played a lot of FIFA, um, but I, not, like, I would not say anywhere serious, near seriously. Did you play the ultimate team modes? Like the pay to win modes? No. <laughs> okay, you didn't play the serious mode. No. <laughs> uh, this one right here is our HD audio. Uh -huh. You're gonna plug that into the bottom corner right there. Got it. See how it's got like a little missing pin? Yep. You're gonna see that there's also a missing there's pin missing. on there. You're just gonna line that up. Got it. Mm. There we go. I. It's funny because like the, like I said, we were talking about games that I've played competitively. Um, I played competitive StarCraft, um, and I've played competitive X-Wing versus TIE Fighter, um, and I've played... Uh, um, that's right. And then uh, I, did, I, like, I really wanted to get into competitive Hearthstone, like you, but then it's just I didn't have the time. Okay, next thing we're going to do... So expensive, like these oh, games. Yeah. Oh, these they, days are expensive to yes, play, they to are. keep up with. Okay, there's that one, and then we want... There's a little RGB, there it is. These keep popping out, so hopefully... They'll stay when I stick them in here. The last two cables, but they're being kind of problematic here. Okay, there we go. Okay. So these, this one, again, oh, actually, we're missing one, another one. Okay, so this is a fan header. You can see, you've plugged this in. You can see there's two more over there. Yep. Okay. Plug that one in. Plug it into yeah, where it says, either or? Yeah, either or. Either one is fine. Your choice. Your PC. There we go. I don't know if it's in there good. There it is. Okay, cool. Now this one is RGB, and right here, I'm gonna push this out of the way. Right here, you see there's a little pin thing. You mm -hmm. wanna basically go at a 90 degree and go straight down onto that connector right there. This is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but I gotta have you do at least one pain in the butt cable. This is, this is like your rite of passage when you get some of these cables in. And if, if you'll, you'll check it like 50 times, trust me, and go from there. Um, I'm trying to think of like, yeah, I think those like competitively, those are the games I've played before. Like I, I really hit, would like to play more games, but um, honestly, I, I, like, I think I've built an audience around, pretty much an audience around PC building. And so we've started to work on, you did it? I think that so. That was fast. Is it, is it there? I'm going to retire. You, you can just take over now. Uh, no, that's it. That's good. Good job. Oh. Boom. You did it fast, dude. That was like legit quick. It was fluky. For your first time. Lucky. 
beginner's luck. Ooh, nope. I just unplugged it. Sorry. That was my bad. Sorry about that. Now I have to fix it. And now you have to wait an hour for me to figure it out. Because <laughs> now that you've done it right, I'm going to mess it up. Oh, I lied. I got it in the first time. Cool. Okay, um, let's grab our last cable, which is this little one right here. It's in kind of an awkward spot here. This is the last cable we need. This one. Okay, cool. Now what you're going to do is you see this one is missing a pin. You can choose either one of these two right here to plug that in. I'll hand that off to you. There you go. Okay, so all, that one came a little bit loose. All of our cables plugged in. Okay, so just, we're gonna zoom in real quick. Well, point, I'm gonna show you all the cables we hooked up just so you guys know. This one right here is our fans. This basically fan splitter uh, powers these three fans. This is USB-C. We plugged in our USB-3. Down here, we plugged in two more fan headers. This is two of the front three fans. Right here, this is our front panel, which is our power switch up here. Uh, then we plugged in our USB for our AIO. We plugged in our RGB, which controls all the RGB. We plugged in another fan, which is our third fan, and then we plugged in our HD audio. Now, the rite of passage when you've done all this is you get to peel this because now, essentially, that is fully hooked up. So you can peel go ahead, this one? Yeah, peel that thing right in the middle. Sure? Yep. This is hooked up. Boom. Oh. There you go. Let's put that over here in the garbage and flip it over. Now we can finish cable managing okay. because everything's hooked up. Okay, now it won't be so bad. What we're trying to do now is we're basically going to get as much into channels as we can and get this looking nice for you. Because you've hooked everything up. Now, after this, guys, people are probably asking, well, what's next? GPU's next. That's we're gonna be the hooking big boy. it. Yeah, it's a big boy. Then we start putting in we start putting in our um, we start putting in our um, power cables and all that sort of stuff, and it gets kind of fun from here. So Got it. This is like you're at the you're you're on you're on the road down at this point in time in terms of what you have left to build. You have far less to do than you had uh, on this side because we're oh. over we're on our we're on our we're on our way through the whole thing. But I'm gonna quickly get this channeled and cleaned up for you. We're basically about to about to be in the fourth quarter. Yep, yep. Oh. Fourth quarter and you are winning. Nice. You're Tampa Bay, not Kansas City. Dang. Oh snap. That's what I like to hear. Imagine not scoring a touchdown in the Super Bowl. That's crazy. <laughs> there's only there's there's somebody who can imagine that right now. He woke up this morning, still imagining that. Dang. That's a sad. That's a sad quarterback. <laughs> I know people are like staying there. Yeah, people are starting to get like you're definitely you're de they're definitely getting sad. Getting I angry. would be sad if that was my performance. I mean. So why the so was it because was it because Cleveland stopped winning? I mean, did you become a Cleveland fan because of Major League? Oh, no, no, no. I was a, so are you familiar with baseball? Yeah. Well, Kenny Lofton was my favorite player growing up. So he played on half the MLB teams, but he was on the Indians for a good part. And um, I was a fan of them for okay. a while. And then heartbreak after heartbreak, most recently losing the World Series to the Cubs. Um, they decided just this year, just a month ago, like I said, to trade a generational talent shortstop to the Mets. So. When they traded him, they traded me. Okay. Now I'm on the Mets. And were you part of the deal when they signed it? It's like, no. Yeah, basically. They, they were like, uh, you, you, not only do you get, but you get like one of the world's greatest fans. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, I wouldn't say the most loyal fan, but <laughs> my loyalty comes with uh, you wanting to win. So if you don't want to win, like the Indians, Cleveland, just, just a poor sports town, then you don't deserve a fan like me. So. I think Mike, I'm in New York now with the Mets. You're in the New York with the Mets. Yeah. I think the only, oops, okay, this is another, I'm just mm. trying to get cables kind of cleaned up here as we figure this stuff out and work our way through the mess of cables we have here just to kind of make it look nice. Um, it's funny because like the, like Cleveland, it's that movie, the movie with Kevin Costner um, where he, they had that whole thing with uh, him trading with the Seahawks. I mean, I'm, obviously I'm from Seattle, so uh, Seahawks who did absolutely terrible out in the yeah. first freaking. That was good to see. Yeah. I'm a Niners fan, so I like seeing the Seahawks struggle. You're a Seahawks fan? Yeah. Well, I mean, I like I uh, grew up all over the world, so like I'm a fan of the Seahawks because I live in Seattle. Um, yeah. Just before I was like a before like 
I was like, I've been like a weird, like a weird, like my favorite baseball team for a really long time was the St. Louis Cardinals, um, back when Ozzy Smith used to play okay. and all that sort of stuff. And Got then, it. Um, but now, like even like you know, now it's just like I'm Mariners and stuff just because of uh, just because of you stay there. Yeah, I live That's there, cool. so it just makes it easy. Yeah, Seahawks fans like they're like unicorns. I, I wasn't used to seeing them for. Uh, 20 years of my life and then they started popping up two years ago when they won. So. Well, I mean, hey, you know, winning, like you said, yeah. winning, winning has a tendency to bring that stuff forward. Hey, there it is. There it is right there. Okay, we're just going to kind of start, we're just working on, what we're working on right here, guys, is we're just getting all of our cable stuff clean and making, giving it good routes. Um, just to overall, just makes it a lot easier to manage stuff afterwards and just mm -hmm. um, make things look good. So that's what we're working on real quick. And while we do that, we chat. We chat with you. We chat yeah. with each other. Learn about. Yeah, now it's like, it's like everywhere. Like I see, I see Seahawks fans. Like I, like I, like went to Disney World, and you like everywhere I find a Seahawks fan. Yeah, it's so interesting because, like I said, when growing up, I don't remember any I, like, I think kids there, I went to school with. Like there was a couple times, like with Matt, when like Matt Hasselback and those guys used to play. And then, you know, for a while, I was actually like a Cowboys fan um, because I was born in Texas. I know, hey, you know. But there was a time when, they, like, back when Troy Aikman and all those guys played. Yeah. Um, but now, nah, that's not so much the case anymore. Yeah. I think it wasn't Tony Romo, on, like, one of the Super Bowl like commentators. Yeah, he was. He yeah. Was. Was, was he was he was he conscious for any of it or? <laughs> no, Tony Romo. He's confession? actually he's actually a, a, a crowd favorite. I feel like I feel like he, a lot of people enjoy his commentary. He's he's done a good job since he's he's retired and moved into the booth. He hasn't been he hasn't been sacked too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Going from there. Tony Romo would score a touchdown in the Super Bowl <laughs> right now in his current state. That's all I know. But that's another really, story you're for like, another you're day. Like, you like really like goading the uh, poor Kansas City fans, huh? because uh, you know they deserve it because. They gassed up their team and this quarterback all year, and they didn't score one touchdown. That's, they scored as many touchdowns as me and you at quarterback. And that's kind of sad. Did you, play, uh, did you play football in high school at all? I played one year. I played basketball um, okay. in high school. And, yeah, I, was, I wasn't really into playing football, but I did love Madden. So. Okay. Yeah. And so a lot of people, like, uh, what's your story for how you got into playing Madden professionally? Cause I think it's pretty cool how that like a lot of parent like a lot of people would love to have the kind of support that you had when you started. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So um, 2004, my mom came across uh, a blockbuster. You remember those? Oh yeah. There's still one left. Still yeah. One. She came across a, a flyer on a blockbuster that said a uh, $1,500 Madden tournament in LA. And my dad ended up taking me that weekend. Did okay. I ended up losing in like the final eight. And from there, I just kind of wanted to get into it. I saw there was a lot of money involved. So that was, that was cool, being in high school, trying to win some money. And um, I eventually was on this TV show um, where they did, had like a Madden bus that was on ESPN in 2008 and I ended up winning that and then that pretty much jump started everything and ended up getting into Twitch years later and now we're here. And you also run like a company that teaches people how to how to play Madden, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so um, it's topmadden.com. Um, you learn from the best players in the world and if you want to get better at Madden, that's, that's the place to go. So what is it like, like if you wanted to learn to play Madden, like what are some of the lessons in there? Yeah, so Madden's really more about what you know rather than it's it's really about knowledge of the game more than you actually moving your players around. It's it that does matter, but there's a knowledge gap more than um the gap with you you controlling guys. So, okay. Um you would learn like play like how to counter certain defenses, how to run certain offensive plays that may be overpowered i guess you could say so you would you say that like not only if you get finished with your class not only could you do that but you could potentially like also coach peewee football mm, no i wouldn't say that <laughs> you're all like you're like that. in there like oh uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a shotgun like, what? yeah i wouldn't say that no <laughs> no it's um, not that good yeah it doesn't it doesn't really um it doesn't really transition over to the real life 
Oh, okay. Like, like Madden's still a video game at the end okay. of the day. Yeah. Okay. Like last year, the person that won, he used a punter at quarterback because the punters, they can hand it off just as well as the quarterback. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah. It was sad to see, but, you know, that's the, that was the state of the game last year. So, have you, have you got to play? Have you got to play with any famous football players? Yeah, I've played some some people in the past. Um, Ocho Cinco, we we played that at one of the Pro Bowls years ago. Um, they used to do an event at the Pro Bowl, um, so we would come across these guys and they would have some games and whatnot. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now as you can see we have like a much cleaner looking build. Everything is kind of bundled now. It's not near as crazy. It looks nice and clean. We're just gonna finish controlling this side, and then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna hook up our um hook up our um gpu and all that sort of stuff now but see like now you've just got a nice clean looking build oh, it looks looks amazing and then we're gonna we will we will this is loose we got a couple of things that are loose on purpose because we want to finish putting the rest of this stuff up but it should look nice when we're all said and done um and then we can do the rest later okay cool so let's flip this over and we're going to Close these. There we go. Oops. A couple of cables you need to pull a little bit tighter down here. Let's do that real quick. There we go. Cool. There we go. That'll be nice and clean. Nice and clean. Looks good. Okay. Now let's get our GPU done. Let's do it. Okay, everybody say GPU time because this is where the fun begins. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you remove these two screws and those two little plates. Which ones now? These two. Those two right there. Okay. All the way, right? Yep, all the way and remove the plates as well. Okay. Oh, that's already open, so don't need to do anything special there. There you go, and you should just be able to slip the plates up. There you go. You want oh, to not like that? Yeah, just they should pop right out. Yep. Okay. Hand me that one, and hand me the other one too. Perfect. Okay. You want the screws too? Nope. You're gonna keep the screws. Okay. That's where we're gonna put the we're gonna right. put the uh, GPU in. Okay, guys. Oh, oh, the beautiful, amazing RTX 3080. Okay, there you go. You get a nice little box in here that has a book. What else have we got here? You got a book <laughs> and a book and a... Okay, that's is, that is super underwhelming. But hey, you've got it, that's nice. Okay, we've got an anti-sag bracelet, which is gonna become in handy, so we're gonna install that here as well. Take this out. Yeah, go ahead and take it out. And then here is our 3080. Oh, there you go, and you just go, you're like Simba. You know. <laughs> um, okay, so we're just gonna take, not, not a lot of peeling we have to worry about, which is nice. So we're just gonna, that should be the only one. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is you're going to take this and you're going to simply put it right in there. You get it. Right. So it lines up on the left side. Got it. I'm just going to. Not, not, no, don't push, don't push. Okay. Just going to just kind of set it down, yeah. It'll, it'll kind of just set down in there. There you go. And it has to go through. That little, that little bar right there, you see it? I think it's on there. Yep. Let me check. Oh. Let me just make sure it goes all the way in. Are you telling me I'm going to get more than 70 frames? Oh, yes. You can get way more than 70 oh, frames. Wow. Um, at 1080p, the other reason you're going to get as many is because your CPU is actually quite a bit more powerful as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these as well. We're not going to remove the face plates, little plates. 
is we're gonna go ahead and put the sag bracelet down, bracket down, which will keep your, your GPU in a nice vertical position. And this is a nice sag bracket, actually. I like this one. Sometimes they can be really gaudy. Um, oops, but that, this one does not seem that way. Okay, and this is gonna go like this, see, and then it holds this up. Got it. Like that. Now I'm gonna do, get one of these in. Not quite. I'm actually going to use, where's the sounds? The more magnetic glitch one, as you call it. <laughs> the glitch one, I'm telling you. That, that, that screwdriver right there is. Magical? Yeah. This one, and this is just to keep the, your GPU, like a lot of people, especially with 3080s, they have what's called GPU sag, so uh -huh. like kind of sag down a little bit, which is not the most attractive look when you have like a really nice GPU uh -huh. like this, so that's why we put these on, is just to keep it. Yeah, I can see the chat, Rich. We can see every, we can see the chat on Twitch and YouTube. It's all combined on all the channels. But I see you guys in there trolling. There we go. Okay, so and then we're going to take these, get this one in. There we go. Okay, now we're going to tighten these down. And this will keep your stuff looking nice. Okay, and then see how that, like, this will keep this from sagging. Yeah, I see. Which looks nice. Oops, and then I'll just leave this bit in there. That's weird. <laughs> okay, now, got this in. You remember those cable colors you chose? Yep. This is where we're going to put those in. Okay. Okay, cool. There you go. GPU is installed. Looks clean. Looks nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab these. If you want to start popping those out. Yep. Let me get this out of the way for you. We need all of them? We'll need not all, not quite all of them. Okay. We need quite a few, but not all. Okay. But this is where you're going to start to see, like, this is where people get to see that little bit of pop of color, and this is where the uniqueness of your build kind of starts to Got it. come through. I chose, I chose uh, blue. What are you guys thinking? Mainly look, I love that color. Okay, here's a 3080 box. Oh, there's this okay, one that so, has a bunch. Yeah, that's your, that's your, uh, that, so we'll need this one. We'll need this one. We don't need these two. Oh, probably need that one. Need that one, yep. And we'll need that one, yep. And then what we'll need is, if you want to hand me the black, these are called cable combs. So these are called what? Cable, cable combs. You need. They're literally for, we're literally for making the cables look nice. So we'll need all of the ones that are basically fours and none of the ones that are threes. And then we'll need the big ones. So that one we don't need. Yep, there's a four. All these. Another four. Yep. There we go. We don't need those. Those are three. Yep. Okay. More threes. Yeah, we just want all the fours and all the threes. Three, three. These are all fours. Okay, cool. There we go. We can throw this stuff in here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the fun part of installing cable combs on cables. Okay. Put that a little way there. Okay, so um, for this one, what we're going to do is this cable is going to go like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put all of these, just slip them on, and then each one. Got it. Goes in. There you okay. go. Okay, you work on that one. This one's going to go up there. And then we're going to put this in. This is cable comb time. This is when we can read, chat while 
It's almost like embroidering, I guess. There you go. You can read. I got to focus. <laughs> He's like, this isn't happening. <laughs> there you go. Cable combs on that one. And then we'll do. Well, you did those already? I did. Oh. Just, there's only one on that Hold one. Hold on. There's only one on that one. I put, a, I, put, I, put, I put my fair share of cable combs on in this. In this. I, do 200, I do 200 plus of these a, a year, so you get kind of wow. quick at putting cable combs on after a while. And yes, cable combs are a thing. People are like, that's not a thing. It is a thing. And you'll see. I just did my first. Let's go. Good. You got two more. Yay. What, I have to do the uh, bottom? Uh, well? No, they're all going to just put them all up at the top. Oh, okay. And we'll kind of push them down. See, it's a little easier once you get them in. Just yeah. Just kind of push them in like that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, there's that one. Get all those on. And the last one. There we go. Uh, Corsair IQ 5000 XRGB case. I like the airflow version. I'd rather get the airflow version of that case versus the, cor the tempered glass one and then just put RGB fans in that instead is my thoughts on that case. I'd rather do the 5000D airflow over the RGB tempered glass one. You're going to get better airflow and it's j you, again, it's just, I think it's just a, uh, a better thing to do. I wouldn't risk performance. Okay, there we go. Put this last one in, and then we have all our cable combs in. Okay, so now you get it. This is where we get to start making the build look good. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do is this cable is going to go right there. You see, it's got the clip right there. She's so going to stick it in just right, right in that. Should it snap? Yeah, it should go all the way in. That's not quite all the way in. Give it more power. Let me get a check here. There we go. It looks like it's good. Okay, cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run this through here. Do, 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 do. Kind of did something a little wacky here. Okay. There we go. And what I'm going to do is quickly, sort of quickly, put this. on the outside. And the main reason I'm just doing this is to keep this, to force this to stay down like that. Okay. And then what we do is we kind of flare it a little bit. And then we push this all the way in. You get that nice clean look there, just like Just like that. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, next one that you're going to do yep. is this one. It's going to go in the top corner. Just plug it in right there. Just like that. Cool. What I'm going to do is run this up through here. Pop out right here in the back. It's like the, you can't see my face, but it's like doing that Michael Jordan thumb, the tongue thing where you're trying to like fish the cable out. Is Michael Jordan the goat? Oh yeah. He is? I think so. Where are you a Kobe fan? I am a Kobe fan, but I got LeBron. Okay, there we go. So there's that one. Okay, now, okay, last two, these are just going to go right there. Side by side? Side by side, right next to each other, yep. Mm. Looks like a cream.
creepy laugh. <laughs> is that from in here? I have no idea. There it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, then what we're gonna do, these ones are a little bit easier. Little gap right here, run these down into. And these, I'm gonna put like this, put a little bit on that side. Use these three. See that nice little pop of color now? Yep. So go just like that. There you go. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I really don't like how this is. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it the opposite way I was doing before. I'll fix this so it looks nice. Now, I'm gonna use this to control where this goes. Okay. Now, now you, not have the, you don't have as much of that color popping through at the bottom. Looks a little bit cleaner now. Okay, cool. There you go. Now you have a nice, cleaner looking pop there. I'll fix the rest on the other side. Okay, so there you go. The front is essentially done. So now all we have to do is flip this over, add a little bit of cable management, and then hook up our PSU. That's all there is left now. Wow. And then it's turn it on. You've almost built an entire PC, dude. Dude, that's... I can't, I can't say that um, I feel confident building the next, so i got to make this one last. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, Fair yeah. enough. Okay, what we're doing now is we're just going to finish our cable management because it's already done. We're just basically putting the little bits down just to finish the overall look. And then we have a... Yep, there's a little... That's gonna get hooked up to power. Yeah, I gotta keep my kids away from this. I can see it now. They're gonna. Especially when you get all the pre. See the colors? Oh my. Yep. Your wife will help. Even though she's talking, even though she's, she's trolling in the chat, she'll help you. She knows how much Yeah, she's... she trolls. Okay, there we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove this real quick. The main reason being is that just to help us with a little bit of cable management we have on this side. Okay. Pop this through here. This is just a finish the cleanliness of our build. There we go. And now let's get our PSU out. Power supply. What do you think? Looks good it's, back here too, it looks, right? It looks beautiful. I think the blue was a good choice. That was you, man. That was all you. Okay. Oh, I <laughs> almost forgot about this. We got to install our drive. Um, so, good thing we saw that. That would have been bad. <laughs> Luckily, we did not miss it. Okay, so what we're going to do here, these are our drive trays. Okay. This is, we're going to simply grab... Our screw bin, we're gonna screw this in to here. The clip is on the bottom, okay. So this goes in mm -hmm. like this. What is this right here? This is your hard drive. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty important, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, another, it's just another hard drive. You have another? Two. I have two? So you, have, you have three, actually. Oh my. Yeah, they, they, uh, they gave you a nice Nice quality build. Okay, that's what we're looking for right there. It's just lining up those screw holes just oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, see it, yep. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to use these right here. And you're just going to screw each one of those in to the screw holes. Right. And then there's three more. While you're doing that, there's your screws. I'm gonna grab one more cable. You're doing that for, so we can hook that up. Almost missed it, but I, I didn't. You just so rarely use physical drives anymore. Okay, so while you're screwing those in, mm -hmm. flip this over, and I am going to hook up here at the bottom. Actually, you know what? We'll be, we'll be, we'll do it down here. 
So I'm going to run this through the SATA at the bottom here. There we go. And we're going to put this right here. I'll zoom in so you guys, I'll show you guys what I just hooked up so you. Okay, so down here at the bottom, down here, right there, that is the SATA for the hard drive. We just install it down there instead of over here where we already had the GPU installed, which is not a big deal. And then we're going to quickly, because it's ready to go, it's right here, and then we're basically able to hook that up into the drive. Okay, so here's our drive. It's got a cool clipping situation. Yep, it would help if Roby didn't have you install that backwards. Good job, Robes. So we're gonna unscrew all that and do it the right way. Wait, I wasn't supposed to screw that? No, so you, I messed up, okay. I gave it to you wrong. I always do it in one build. I always put some part in backwards. So. <laughs> but that's me, that's not you, that's me. The drive is supposed to be down here by this clip. This clip is how you get this little tray on and off. And so I put it in backwards. Okay. So this goes like this. Now I'll get it started and then you can do this again. Okay, sounds good. You just you haven't you haven't done enough screws today. Right. That's really the problem. And I just wanted to make sure you had more opportunity to practice your screwing technique. That did not sound right. <laughs> that doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. <Maybe. laughs> Whoop. Yeah. That's not what I meant to say. Yeah. Okay, so while we're doing that, uh, uh, yeah, let's, uh, oh, I forgot my phone, so I can't read any Dan jokes. <laughs> okay, uh, so everything here is good. This is going to go into that drive when we're done, and then I will start to open the PSU while you are doing that. Sounds good. Uh, Oops, which we can do while you're finishing the little bits of screwing right there. There we go, cool. Do not need that anymore. We, are, we can put away a full tool. Oops. Okay. All the stuff for the hard drive. Book and our Dun, dun, dun. BSU, BSU time. There you go. Okay, if you want to unwrap that, sure. I'll trade you. There it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, just to make this easier, put this up like this, and then down here at the bottom, put this down. Let me kind of move this stuff out of the way. And this into a little clip thing down here. It's like you're basically just got to search for it. There it is, just like that. Can I get it in? Oh, man. Looks like I did. Okay, there we go. Nope, that is not all the way in. we're doing right now is just finding the right holes to clip this into. With the hard drive? Yeah. Wow. It's always like a search here at the bottom to find, there it is. Looks like it's right, no? As far as like power supply goes, it has to have a certain amount of- Yes, it for does. This, for this build or whatever? Yeah, because it, it needs 850 watts. Got it. At least. Yes. You can do, uh, yeah, you need at least 850 watts. Okay, there we go. We're just trying to find the holes to put this in. It's one of those things that's just like, they give you a lot of holes to put in. It's just finding the right. Get it. So it should go in. Come on. Give it. There it goes. That is in there solidly. Okay, got that in. Okay, so now we got our hard drive in, and it's right. Okay, so now 
take this. Yep. See that little, see how it's got like an L? Mm-hmm. That goes on that little L right there at the end. Get it? Push down, right? Yep. Should just clip in. Just like that. I heard that nice good click. Uh, and then we're just going to have that. Gonna put that right there. Have a zip tie. Tie to these other cables. And then now we can put in our PSU stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, and now something else like a cord with this. Yeah, yeah there's a cord and all that stuff. Oh, okay. Now you're. Oh, I see it right here. Yeah. Now everybody expects you when you open a new PSU to take a good sniff of it. Oh really? Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that new yeah. PSU smell. It's the worst. <laughs> okay, so the cables that we'll actually need for this build is in here. These are called SATA. So the, one of these is going to be like for your hard drive. See the, how this matches like the power connection right down here. So that's what these are. These are mm -hmm. SATA. This is your SATA power. So we'll need one for this. There should be two. There's a total of three. So this should be okay. So there should be one. We'll just be safe and go ahead and do two. Yep. Just because. So there you go. There's that. Got it. And then we'll need, this is your, these are basically the power for your GPU. So we'll need two of these. So there's one. There's one right there. This is VGA, yeah. There's one, and then the second one is right here. There you go. So there's two of those. That's, your, that's for your graphics card. And then we'll need, this is the big one for your PSU. Right here. There's a big one for our PSU. Okay. And then you have two of these for CPU. We're only going to use one because you don't need the other one. Got it. And then that is all your cables that we'll need for this. There we go. We don't need these. Silly question from Eric. He says, wouldn't you want to go higher watts than the minimum? The minimum is not 850. It's higher than 850. Okay. 750 is actually, you could probably get away with 750 watts. 850 is more than enough. There it is. There you go. Okay. There you go, Eric. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to have you, mm -hmm. actually, why don't I put you right here, and you're going to plug these in. Okay, so this is our CPU. That part plugs in, and see where it says CPU on? Yep. So we're going to plug that in. Okay, this is your motherboard. This splits into two, that part and that part. Okay, I see. There you go. Okay. Those are going to go into VGA1 and VGA2. Does it matter which one? Nope. Okay. okay, and this should go into SATA1 and SATA2. Doesn't matter which one. And then now we're going to grab our little cables here. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is this has a little bracket. I'm going to hold this for you. Okay. More screws. More the last screws of the build, oh. actually. So this is going to go right here, like that. Here's, Here's your screws. What do we need, two? Or need four. Five, need four. Need four. Come on. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first one's going to go right there. And don't tighten them all the way down yet. Ooh. Where'd they go? I got it. Oh, good. Okay, cool. You got to drop at least one or two right. or three screws when you're building a PC. And don't tighten them. Yeah, it should be. 
good. Just a little bit, you said yeah, that? Just, yeah, just like that. And then go ahead and screw the other four. You can see where they kind of go. Yeah. The other three. Perfect. And once you kind of get all of them in, then you can tighten them all down. Got it. The thing is, is that if you tighten them all the way down, sometimes you can torque and then it just becomes a lot harder to put the other screws in. Yeah. This way it keeps you from having to do that. There you go. And then you can tighten that one all the way down. There you go. Boom. Cool. You going to do the others? And just so you guys know, I'm lifting from the bottom so he's not torquing the back cords, cords yeah. too much. So I'm keeping it from crimping the cables too much. That's one side. There you go. I need to come back to that one. So. There you go. Awesome. Being wacky. Yeah. Yeah, I love it when screws do that. Okay, cool. Now what we're going to do, basically going to, simple thing is I'm going to take one of these, close around here, like that. And then it's going to run all these through here. This is the last step, dude. This is right here? Yeah. Push that all the way in. Looks like a speed run. Just like that. Screw that in. Screw that in. I'm going to use the extra long screwdriver. <laughs> there it goes. There we go. Extra long. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now this is where we hook up the last of our last of our power and all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna pull these through. Okay, so first one we're gonna do, see how this is CPU? Yep. That plugs into this one right there. That goes into that. Both of these? Yep, both they go side they go sideways though. Turn it over, because you got to see see how it's got a little clip? Clip's got to go into that. If you flip it over. Oh, what do you mean? Flip it like this. Just like that. Got it. Okay. There you go. There you go. That one went in. I don't know why that one's not going. Not strong enough. <laughs> it might be just because sometimes they don't go together. Mm -hmm. They get wacky. So there you go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's gonna go like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close this in. Got it. Like that. Okay. And that is gonna go down right there. Okay, there you go. There's one cable, one power cable is hooked up. That's the one that powers your CPU. Okay. okay next one we're going to hook up is this one right. What? <clears throat> one of these right here. Okay, this one. See how there's a little, that, this little power right here, and it forms an L. You want to plug that into that little bottom one there. Oh, at the bottom, okay. Yeah, see it? I move this shirt. No, no. This oh, shirt. I can't move that? Oh, yeah, you can move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. sorry. And you just want to plug that into that bottom. That's going to power your hard drive.
There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move that one out of the way now. Like so. Okay, now we have two of these. See these right here? We grab this cable. And both of these. Actually, you know what? Yep. Yeah. Uh, but here we go. We're just going to do the same thing. Plug that one into there. Plug that one into there and that one into there. Does that make sense? Yeah. This one in here? Yep. Oh, and that one into that one. And this one more, you said? Nope, this oh, should be it. Okay. No, I actually, I, like I said, I thought we might need the extra cable. We didn't, so we're actually okay. So we have an extra SATA cable here. And I'm going to quickly, eh, we'll leave it in here. We'll just put it down in there. Not that one. Put this in case you add extra stuff later. I've okay. got an extra SATA cable there. Nobody's sad about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, now, collective sigh was heard across the entire studio with that joke. <laughs> okay, now, what we're going to do is uh, these, uh -huh. you're going to plug into, there's one, this one's going to go into this one, and then the other one's going to go into the one next to it. So those, it. those two cables are going to get hooked up. You see how the clip goes where the clip goes. You see, it goes over that little, little, little nub. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's this, how you know which direction then. to put it in. Yep. Um, yep. Right there. Yep. Right into that one. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is take these. Push these down in here. Just like that. Okay, then last cable, the end. This is the final part of the build. That right there. Yep, that is the last cable, dude. All right. Yeah. Might have to go the other way. Just fine like this? Yep, yep just oh, like yeah. that. It's going to be kind of a pain, so just... Don't be afraid to really push. There you go. That was far less painful than it, it than it has been in the past. Okay. Okay, dude, your PC is 100% built. Wow. You are done. There we go, guys. Okay, let's Looking go ahead and chair. pop this on. It's always like the final test. Okay. Make sure that this goes on like a glove. <laughs> I expect no less. There we go. Okay, we're good there. I'm just gonna kind of clean up our area. All right. I'm gonna flip it up and finish putting the. Uh, There's a screwdriver. Thank you. And then some trash. And put it over. Put in this okay. Now let's go ahead and finish putting our other parts on that we took off. Oh. Boom. Okay. So this goes back on the front. Yep. That's the, the bottom. bottom. That's the top. Yep, perfect. Put me on this side? Yep, just like that. Just pop it right on there. And that's going to go underneath. There you go. Kinda, there you go. Lined up right there and just kind of hit it. Okay. There we go, PC. You really meant hit it. Yeah. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of move these over and use this to trap this. We want the cables to be straight. I'm going to fix the front. You can't have it turn on if it's not pretty. <laughs> what the heck is the point of that? Just a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. And our PC is officially done. Now we just got to plug it in. Right so here's a power cable and a dream. <laughs> Dude, you built this. How do you feel? Um, it felt good. I, I was nervous. Out. I told you before the show, I was nervous. And I don't have any experience building. And the last person I built, I, I wasn't paying attention. So 
shout out to Boyer. I see him in the chat. He built my last PC. He bu built my last PC. He and, built uh, a lot more of this one. Huh? Yeah. Put that right there. Okay. You just got to flip this right here. To, flip this? Yep. Flip it up. Hit the power button. It's up at the top. This one? Yep. There it is. It is on. There it is. Good job. And then it's going to take a little while for it to see the back fins. They're, they're just going through the postcodes now. It'll, they'll all spin here in a minute. Oh, wow. Slowly, they will all go. There they are. It's going through the post. It's slowly, they'll all start spinning. Look at all the W's in the chat for you. There, there it is. All W's, no L's. Oh, and then it's going to go through the post again. It's going to reboot. There it goes. Look, this top fan is kind of stuck on something. Oh, it's going to go through a post again. This is normal. <laughs> Our top fan is being wacky. Feels like it wants to spin. Got to figure out what's going on with that fan. Looks like one fan may be loose. Figure that out. So we'll look at that here in a sec. Okay. I think one fan might not be plugged in, but that's an easy thing to check. Sure. But yeah, we're going to turn this off real quick and just check our fan connections. One fan is not on. Yeah. What fan came loose? Ugh. There's three fans. All three plugged in. Like tried to spin. It might actually be a busted fan. because all our fan connections are actually plugged in. Okay, Let's see if that fixes it. There we go. Yeah, one fan. There's one fan. Yeah, it's one fan. We might have to replace that fan. It's like trying to spin, but it is not. See? Yeah, I see it. I can see it. So I think we actually might have a bad fan, which is an easy fix. So we'll have to fix that. Um, it's beautiful nonetheless. We're good. <laughs> we're put, we're <laughs> We're good. <laughs> there it is, guys. So we'll have one fan. It looks like there's one fan that might be bad because um, the cables are all connected and everything else. But uh, we just got to fix that one fan. And, but outside of that, the PC is actually up and running, and it looks great. So there we go. So unfortunately, sometimes that happens. We do have a spare 140, and we can fix that uh, before it goes home. So that is it, guys. Clean build. Looks great. Looks beautiful. Um, and everything looks good from here. So um, any, any advice now that you've built your PC, what would you say? Advice as far as what? PC building. Um, let the professionals do it. You know, me, I'm not really good with the screwdrivers and stuff, but um, someone like yourself, if you guys need someone to build it, hit up Roby. Okay. Man. Well, you have the most important part still left to go, and that is kind of the, the rite of passage, and that is the PC, the peel. Um, it's the big peel that goes at the very end of every build. So we're going to pop this on like this. And I'm going to... Okay, so there's two parts this peel. First one, you're going to start right here. Uh-huh. You're going to peel this way down. Come over here. It's, this is, you got to do slow. Like, this is, this is where my audience... It's make or break for my audience. you got to get slow. Go slow? Yeah, go Slower slow. Slower than that? Yeah, dude, no, that's a nice... That's a good peel. This is a good peel. <laughs> There you go. Slow. See how people are like slow. Oh, that's, oh there you go. That effect. Yeah, there you go. Take your time. There's that sound that everybody loves. Okay, now for the real good one. So come on over here. Uh -huh. Oh, man, I think it's blowing some mad air. Okay, starting right here. You're going to see peel from the front and then corner cross. Oh, right. You choose a side. You choose a corner. There you go. Okay, I see. There you go. Oh. And then peel down. The fan works. 
Oops, Oops she just turned <laughs> it off. <laughs> Hold on, wait, no, you gotta, gotta wait until it turns on. There you go. Now peel slowly. Did there. I fix the fan? Yeah, you fixed there it. There it is. Oh, that's a good peel. That's a good peel. That's beautiful. This turns me on. That's, uh, there it is. And there it is. All right, whatever floats your boat. And there you go, guys. And there you go. You can see from the front now, see that beautiful looking fan pattern right there, like the whole thing from the front and everything like that. There it is right there, guys. And it works, completely works. Cool. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank my you friend. So, much. Was... so again, guys, just to remind you, parts that are in this, an Intel i9-10900K, we've got a MSI. Guys, uh, any closing words, anything that you'd like to, where can they find um, you? Where can people find you if, they want, if they're interested in checking you out? Uh, on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash problem, right? Um, I stream every day. Okay, and then Saturday's the, uh, Saturday's the, uh, the, E-dating. Oh, yeah, e-dating. E-dating. the right one. If you're looking for e-dating, then that's the other option. Uh, yeah. You can also find me. I am just a Roby, Roby Tech. You can follow me uh, on Twitch at Roby Tech, at YouTube at Roby Tech, on Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash Roby Tech. You can find us all on Twitch. Uh, you're at Problem Right on Twitter. Yep. Yep. Um, and you can follow me on TikTok and all the other places at Roby Tech, guys. This has been Antel Mod Monday. We are uh, super excited and looking forward to seeing you guys uh, in March for a... Rocket Lake is the next thing, so I know we got some incredible stuff coming up for that. Outside of that, guys, have a great day, and we will see you on the next one.